Good to talk to you. Yeah, same to you. You a little nervous? Uh, not that much, I guess. You want me to make you nervous? Yeah. Why don't you tell me about the first time you were, uh, ever had a sexual encounter with a guy? <laughs> oh, you want to know about my first time, huh? Pervert. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so uh, my first time with a guy, I was uh, 18 years old. I was a freshman in college. I was there uh, studying sports, physiotherapy, and uh, I uh, had a roommate, and he was this petite little scrawny uh, guy, and uh, he was actually a science major on his way, if you can believe this, to be a literal rocket scientist. I was like, what? But hey, you know, someone's got to someone's got to do it, I guess. Um, we were total opposites. We were just in different circles. If the college never put us together, I'm almost positive we never would have met each other. But you know, looking back on it, it was probably probably the best one of the better situations I could have been in as far as having a roommate. I mean, the room was always clean. He never we never really fought or had any arguments. He never cared if I brought girls home, which I did sometimes. Um and you know, the thing about Gabe was he was gay, and I was totally fine with that. Um, it didn't take a genius to know either that he was into me. But I mean, like, <laughs> come on, who wouldn't be, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was a great time. I look back on it, and I, I don't have any regrets about being in that room with him. But um, college is about experimenting, right? <laughs> <sighs> oh man what a night what are you doing there huh? not much just studying this stuff you know uh, okay okay that's uh yeah that's cool that's cool well i don't know i mean it's good that you're studying and all, but you missed quite the party tonight. I think half the campus was there. People were having a good time, dancing around, mingling. There were some sexy girls dancing. I mean, it was a great time. You should have went. Are you not tired, dude? I mean, it's like 1 a.m. The key is to not drink all night. I didn't have a drop of alcohol. And then when the DJ comes on and he's playing the good music, boom, 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 boom. You can join right in. And it's like... It's like the party just began, you know, with you. <laughs> Whatever, Shane. You always get like this when you come back home with that room. Like what? Like this. Like all touchy and you're sitting on my bed. Oh. You're talking to me. <laughs> I mean, you're a cool dude. I like chilling with you, you know? And the night's still young. I got that dancing on my mind. Come dance with me. Help me get this energy out. <laughs> um, I'm all good. It's uh, finals week, so I'm going to study. I think you should probably do that, study? too. Study? <laughs> what the hell are you studying? <laughs> um, linear algebra. Ooh, yeah. Sounds boring. You yeah. would know it if you actually went to class or study. Yeah, well, sounds so boring. So, <laughs> after that story, uh, what happened the next day? Well... Gabe thought that I'd still regret what we did. And I reassured him we were solid. I didn't regret it. We lost touch after college. But uh, I heard down, I heard through some people that he found his soulmate and got married. And he deserves it. I'm happy as can be for him, honestly. Uh, so, Shane, after all that, Gabe, do you still consider yourself straight? <laughs> That's a funny question. Do I still consider myself straight? Well, after that encounter I had with Gabe, you know, it took a lot of, uh, it took a lot of time, you know, looking into myself and a lot of trial 
and air, air, a lot of soul searching too. Um, but I think I still, I would say I still consider myself straight. Um, I mostly date women these days, but if the right guy comes around, <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not?